please join me in welcoming Billy McRobert, the Curriculum Manager for Engineering. Could you tell us a wee bit about yourself, Billy? Yeah, it certainly can, Steve, yeah. Uh, my name is Bill McRobert. As you say, I'm the Curriculum Manager for the Engineering Department. Uh, we look after um, areas such as electrical engineering, wind turbine, maintenance technicians, motor vehicle and mechanical and fabrication as well. That's great. Now, it's a broad subject, but if someone was unsure about a career in engineering, uh, what would you suggest they do? Uh, it is a broad subject, um, probably one of the broadest um, career paths you could actually find, to be honest. Uh, traditionally, what we used to always do was we would, in, we would invite them in for a wee tour around the college, uh, a wee look around all the workshops to see the activities that are taking place, uh, the tasks that the, the students are doing and what they're learning, etc. And usually that helps to kind of inform what the, the kind of career path they're looking for. Uh, we tended to do the whole of the, the basement of the college where all the workshops are from and the engineering stuff through to construction. Uh, unfortunately, uh, we can't do that just now, which is a shame. But if anybody's wanting to talk through any of the possible career paths in engineering, um, they're more than welcome to get in touch with us. Our obviously contact details are all on the website, uh, and I'd be happy to talk them through anything they really need to know. I uh, can you underground to that, Steve? Can I just have a wee run through the, the main areas of engineering and the kind of courses we do? Absolutely, go ahead. Uh, one of the main areas, uh, four distinct areas, um, electrical engineering being one of the main ones, or the, the biggest of the four, uh, we do full-time courses in electrical engineering at levels five and level six, mainly for people that want to move into being an electrical apprentice or are looking for a career in electrical engineering of some description. And from these courses, a lot of electrical apprentices in the southwest of Scotland uh, are actually picked up by companies. Uh, if that's not really the path you want to take, you can move on from there to an HNC in electrical engineering and you can progress through with the college to HND in electrical engineering. You can then obviously have the, the possibility of articulation routes with um, some of the unis we work with. We have links with Napier College in Edinburgh and we're working alongside Glasgow University and, uh, obviously as well. Uh, we also do wind turbine technician courses uh, for people who want to move into the, the vastly expanding wind turbine technician um, career path. Uh, of, of late, in the last two years, we've had eight students who've gained uh, apprenticeships with local companies. Well, when I say local companies, they're working locally, but they're actually national companies. Uh, seven have moved to a company called Inch Team, who are up at Hairstains, up above the village. And one is working for a company called One Stop Wind, and they could be anywhere from the UK to Germany to somewhere in the middle of the North Sea, to be honest. Uh, a really, really good career and good job prospects and a very good course, I have to say, as well. Uh, we also do motor vehicle technician courses. Uh, we do first year and second year on a full-time basis, and we also do first year and second year apprentices, all from local employers across Dumfries and Galloway. And obviously, the motor vehicle courses are available in Dumfries and in Stranraer. Uh, on the mechanical side, we do fabrication and welding uh, for um, students, mainly apprentices at the moment. Uh, we also do a machining course and the big new machining uh, workshop that's just newly been um, updated. Uh, it ranges from waste to CNC machines and we also have an assembly area where we do a lot of work with our um, wind turbine trainees, taking things to, uh, to bits, putting them back together, etc. And we also do a lot of kind of heavy lifting as well. So quite, quite a broad aspect uh, in engineering for whatever your career path will be. And another broad question. I know you like broad questions here. Uh, <laughs> do students need to bring any special equipment or PPE or anything when they come on the courses? Um, no, what they'll do is uh, any of the, the kind of workshop stuff, and most of our courses I would say were around about the 30 to 40% of the course is practical. Um, any, it's any PPE that's required, we will supply, whether it be boots, boiler suits, um, safety glasses, hard hats, high-vis vests, we supply everything that's required um, as part of their course, so they don't have to bring anything of their own. Uh, some people like to bring their own stuff in, and um, we try to discourage that in case something happens to it or gets damaged. Uh, and as far as tools are concerned, we supply all tools for all courses as well. That's super. So if you're already working in the engineering field, what, what can the college offer for those people? There's a, there's a lot of opportunities for people that are already working in engineering. Uh, a, a lot of the people that come through our courses uh, obviously end up in, with really, really good careers. Um, last year we had around about the 40% mark of our students ended up in employment. 
uh, which is really, really good for us and, and obviously good for the students as well. Um, they ranged from people moving into apprentice electricians' jobs, apprentice fabrication welders, machinists, motor vehicle technicians, mechanical fitters. Some people moved on into a position as a, degree, uh, a graduate apprentice. Uh, obviously, the ones we talked about earlier have become one turbine technicians. We've got people who moved into being overhead linesmen. Uh, one uh, young student who also moved into a job as a trainee ships engineer in BP, so he could be anywhere in the world at the moment. He likes to send us pictures every now and again from, from the nice places, not from the, the not so nice things, I must admit. Um, so yes, I, that's really a great prospect for them. But it's once they're actually trained and they've got their, uh, become a tradesman or become qualified or whatever their area is, they can come back and do retraining. We do quite a lot of um, what we call the commercial side of things. It can either be courses for individuals or it can be courses for companies. We do uh, we make up bespoke courses uh, for a company if they want people trained in a specific area. Uh, we've just done two or three this year for various companies. But they can come back and they can do a lot of things ranging from portable appliance testing. Uh, electricians do regulation updates. They do inspection of testing courses. Uh, we do a course called Safe Isolation of Electrical Installations for people that are working with that. Uh, a new one we're just bringing on is called an, an Accessory Replacement Course, which is for some of the companies that do a lot of work with the Houston Gallery Council. We also do a course for uh, fully qualified wind turbine technicians called the BTT, Basic Technical Training Course, uh, for an organisation called the Global Wind Organisation, uh, and one of only three colleges accredited in Scotland to deliver that. Uh, we're also looking at moving into a lot of the kind of carbon neutral stuff with the new um, renewable area at the college, the Green Energy Centre, just uh, about to be opened up. We're looking to do quite a lot of courses on wind turbines, on solar, on ground source heating, on battery storage. And we've also got an additional one now, which we can offer on electrical vehicle charging points as well. So the list for whether it be someone who's qualified, maybe somebody who's looking to retrain because of the, the problems with the COVID situation, or even a company that's looking to get people retrained or upskilled, we can pretty much do anything in engineering whether it be from motor vehicle on electric cars or electrical or mechanical or fabrication or anything. Well, it sounds like you've got a lot on your plate. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> another, another hard question for you. What, what, how do you envisage the first session, the first half of the, the next session that's coming up? Because we're obviously not going to be able to act as normal. Uh, we're, we're going to have great difficulty, and I apologise for the dog there, actually, maybe somebody's going to go I think. Uh, one of the hazards of working from home. Uh, basically, obviously, we don't know what's going to happen. Um, at the moment, we are planning for kind of online delivery of the first block. As I said earlier, a lot of our courses, are the majority of our courses, sorry, are made up between 30 and 40% practical. So unless we can get the students back into the building, we can't actually do that at the moment. So what we're planning to do is to the other stuff in the courses, the, the regulations, the technology, the theory, the core skills, we're going to front load the courses so as we can continue our online delivery at this moment in time. Uh, and hopefully as things evolve and we can start to get people back in, we'll start to feed back into the, the practical units, etc. And, and try and get a better mix of delivery, uh, which would suit us and the, the prospective students as well. That's great. Could you tell us offhand uh, if you have courses with any spaces still available on them? Um, we, we, we don't. We have, we've been really very popular this year, eh, which is fantastic. Uh, at the moment, I've got a few spaces left in motor vehicle, um, in Dumfries and in Stranra. Um Also, other courses still have a few bits and pieces. Again, if you're thinking about um, any of the, the courses, although some of them may be full, still get in touch and come and speak to us uh, and still put your applications in because we don't know what will happen between now and August, basically, and things may change. But don't be put off by that, please, and still apply for courses and get in touch and we're quite happy to discuss anything at all.